Happy New Year and welcome to Solar Motion VFX for another short tutorial. This time on how to integrate Blaze AI with the awesome and extensive asset called Malbus Animal Controller. This title is really misleading because a uh, Animal Controller is really much, much more. I mean, it's a full character controller with everything included: weapon systems, animal controls, point system, health, everything. It's really, really extensive. You need to look at the docs to learn more about that. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be looking at how to, we can use Blaze AI as our AIs. For this scene, I'm just using the standard demo scene called the uh, HIP Riding Combat. This is, of course, the Horse Animal Set Pro. So right now, I'm just using the standard default player. And I have a mummy here set up. We're not going to go through how to set up the AI. I have another tutorial on that, but as you see, it doesn't detect me. Okay, so let's dive right into it. So on the mummy, all the nice components are already set up uh, from Blaze. So the first thing you need to set up and always working with Malbus is, uh, is always used um, damageable. So this script, no matter which AI you're using, if you want uh, to be able to take damage from, from the weapon system inside Malbus, you always need to put in this damageable component. And this will give you a stats, which is uh, the health system in here. Okay. So on the damageable, what we need to do is on the events, we will hook up when we receive damage. And on the stats as well, we will hook up on the events as well. You can see here this is the value of 100 this is the health but on the event we need to hook up whenever the health is empty okay so for receiving damage i have a very very short script here so i have these two so i have these two public methods very short and sweet what you're going to do is put this public wide damage place AI. you can call it whatever you want but it's important you put this inside the parameters single damage and then debug log i'm gonna say that i'm hitting the my place ai and then I'm going to add the damage. This value is taking from the Malbus uh, weapon system, whether it's a saw, uh, pipe, or, or guns, whatever it is, it will take from here. And then I'm also going to activate the hit state on the Blaze AI, so it's going to hit play the hit animations. The other public weapon I have is just the kill Blaze AI that is going to be killed, and then the game object will be untacked. Okay, pretty sweet. This is just in case of I. I use this because I also have other AI systems when they kill each other it's important that they are untacked. To put that component on your AI, I have it here, Blaze Damage AI from Shootable. So if you go into the Damageable and under Receiving Damage, let's put in the Blaze like here and then the Blaze Damage on Shootable and we say Damage this one. So this is when he received damage. Now we go to the Stats. On the health empty whenever he's dead let's bring down the component again and say when he's dead we want to kill him like so okay now on your character mine is called rider ac combat there's a weapon manager system in here on your character there's a weapon system ma manager this one and uh, you look at the rifle I, st I have put up so I start with this rifle component inside here it's important that you inside your general there's this hit layer when you click on that when you click on the hit layer you will see that uh, you will get this standard hit layer duplicate that and call it give it a name of your own so in this scheme I just gave it rifle Haru when I click on that it's important that in here you set up the layer that you want to be able to hit okay so in this case, the mummy, in this case, the mummy is enemy. So I just enable enemy here. If you have other layers, of course, enable them there. You see, mummy is layers enemy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So go back to the rifle and also the damage here. We have set that to 25, 25. You can add the minimum and maximum if you want, but I just added so it's gonna be a static value. But this is the damage value, which this one takes from Okay, so go into your mummy, to the blaze eye component, ensure that we can see our player. And remember, remember our player has the layer of animal, attack animal. So go into mummy, into the vision, 
layers to detect it's okay to put animal here you don't have to do it because that's only for uh, obstructions but hostiles let's put in the animal here and also put animal here hostile tags if we play now he should be able to see us and also he should be able to detect us and also try to attack us and also we should be able to damage him as well because we set that up okay he should be able to detect us he should be able to see us let's see let's see if he can detect us now we give him a shot and if we go in front of him yeah he's definitely seeing us and it works the shot as well you see that we're hitting he's playing the hit animation and he's dead pretty cool so that works now let's work us so he can actually damage us on both his hands left hand and right hand because i'm using an attack here attack one this one i'm using this animation here and i have made an animation event yep i have called it enable box collider enable box and this one no box so these two are my animation events and i create a simple script the script is called hitbox enable basically let us reference the two uh, box hitboxes the left hand right hand and then i just run these two public methods enable box and no box so they will be either enabled or disabled then i'm going to both and send left and right hand and this is actually one of the way how you can uh, you easily can damage um, your player your, your marbles player here add an if you don't have it already put a box here and this is the script i'm referring to my right hand and left hand and this is actually box collider and uh, it's a trigger and then here this is the important part you add an attack trigger and this has come with malba's own asset this is an easy way to deal damage to your player and in here you're of course going to drag down your hit box your box collider and make sure that you activate here and then again hit layer as same as before duplicate the standard hit layer and call it your own and then i just called hit layer player on this player ensure that you have the animal here selected and not uh, the other ones that you don't want but i have the animal selected and the damage i'm saying i'm dealing 25 25 that's good for me then you can also deal with the force here if you want to apply some force so you can actually hit and move the the damage meaning the player profile if you don't want that and here on hit if there's anything you want to do here you can also put some events here so it's pretty cool so with these on let's test it out let's see if he's gonna attack me and he is and i'm taking damage and i'm dead pretty cool okay so this asset is pretty cool i have this animal which i can mount on and i have set up so if i left click i'm doing this kind of damage but if i right click then it's gonna spit out fire and cause damage to my ai's they're gonna play the death sequence so this is pretty cool and my dragon can die this player controller can also fly so it's pretty cool so that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you learned something and also definitely want to give it a try there's definitely an asset that's worth spending some money on so this is a short integration between these two hope you liked it please subscribe guys see you on the next one bye